Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Arnab. So today I will discuss about uh, how to do the zoom in and zoom out for APM version 8 uh, and using W3C actions. Okay. In my last video, I have discussed about how to scroll or swipe. Okay. So in this video, I'll uh, uh, try to give you the overview how you can uh, do the zoom in and zoom out. Okay. So this is the steps uh, just like the sc uh, scroll or swipe. Okay. So first you have to set the event, then you have to move your fingers into the starting positions, then you have to determine the element dimensions, then determine the X and Y coordinate on the screen, finger comes into the contact with the screen, wait for a bit, this is an optional steps, uh, This uh, so I have already told this one in my earlier videos also. Then the next step is that fingers move into the position, determine X and Y coordinate on the screen, then give your speed and after that finger moves up from the screen so that's it this is the steps actually we have to follow okay and the next thing is that so just think how we are doing the zoom in and zoom out manually so we need two fingers we cannot do these things within a single finger okay so that's why let's go to the code okay then I can explain to you guys okay so here also I am using the same thing UI automated options to create the APM driver then this is the method zoom in okay so for zoom in I am using a photo actually so this is the thing so I am clicking on the photo and it will open based on that I will zoom this one okay so first what I am doing that first I am determining the X and Y center X and Y coordinate okay then I am giving declaring one element that X movement and the value I am setting is 300 okay so just think about that one okay let me open the APM inspector okay, this one. okay sorry Just wait for a bit okay it's open so what we will do here to zoom in suppose this is okay let's take the swipe coordinate okay so suppose this is your center okay this is the element actually the photo okay this is the element if I click on the element okay Deep down to the element okay. All of this one this one fragment container video player container this one okay perfect this is the element okay if I check the coordinate so this is my center okay let's say the X is showing that 692 and Y is 1408 okay so I'll fix the Y coordinate suppose think you are uh, giving your touching your finger finger number one here and finger number two here or let's say here or in this place okay so and you will move your finger the first finger you will move in this way and the second finger will move this way so in that case you will not the y co coordinate will not get changed the only the x coordinate will get changed so for first finger you are moving your finger to this one in this way okay so the x coordinate will get change in this way so i have to so if you ch check this one suppose first finger you touch first finger here that is segment 479 and you are moving this way so it's 241 means that we have to 
give a value which will minus the x coordinate okay x coordinate will get reduced and in that case suppose you will touch your finger number 2 here it's 1002 and it will move this way so it will get added okay i have to add something with the x coordinate same thing i have done here so that's why i have taken this variable x movement for finger one start what i am doing that center x minus x movement that i am showing okay i have shown to you guys already and finger to start x plus x movement okay and end end what i am doing that suppose here you will start from here and you have to move in this way and then you have to move up your finger finger number one and for finger number two you have to suppose you start from here you go this way you end this in this place okay so for that what i am doing that center x minus two into the x movement okay so first if i am going here again so this is 500 in this way it's 200 or 300 something like that so in that case that's why i am doing this one okay here for finger number two also i am adding into two okay with the x movement variable okay so that i can get the more coordinate okay towards the right side next i have already discussed this one first that type the pointer input finger number one so i've declared this one so I mentioned this one as a touch. Then I'm creating the sequence to add the actions. Then I'm adding the actions that is create pointer move duration. I have already told you guys that duration you have to give like this. You cannot give directly integer value. Okay, you have to mention the viewport. Then the coordinate finger one start and center y. Y will not get changed. Okay, and this is the finger number one create pointer down okay finger comes to your contact screen then finger moving position to the end for finger number one this one finger number one end and center y and then get up your finger from the screen same i have done here for finger number two okay so i'm changing this one to zero okay then so driver dot perform array dot as list i have shown you guys for the scroll you have to add on that case for scroll we need only one finger action that's why i have added on that case only one option for here swipe one zero one swipe zero two two sequence i am adding so that's why i am taking this one as a list we can add multi multiple sequence object here okay and purposefully i am giving the 300 slip here to stay in the screen so that I can we can understand okay what happened so in that way we can do the zoom in feature okay let's try this one okay zoom in zoom in done so for this one purposefully i have run the apm using from the command line so that you guys can understand okay in the command line you guys can see directly okay okay it's done i think yeah this is done okay if you can see in the log this one okay, just stopping the APM so that we can stay in the log okay so this is the thing okay so here you can see that whatever I have told you the steps same thing here so ID I have given as a finger number one here 
C. Then that is a type of pointer. The pointer type is touch. Same thing, whatever I have mentioned here. Then this is the action, whatever I am doing that. Duration zero, type pause, okay. Then the coordinate 420 and Y was 1258. Pointer move, origin is viewport and pointer down. And the end one was 120, 1258. The Y coordinate is same. And if I look onto the finger number two, this is, I start from the 1020, Y coordinate is same and I ended with the 1320. Okay, so let's, not this one, okay, this one. Here, if you can see this one, so I start from number for, from 420, just like someone, something from here, finger number one. And for finger number two, I start from 1020. Just suppose something like from here. This is my first position, touching position, finger one and finger two. Okay. And the next, I move finger one from 420 to in that way, one till 120. Okay. In that way. And for finger number two, it's from 1020 to 1320 in that way. Okay. So that's why it gets zoomed actually. Okay. If you see my screen, okay, mobile screen, zoom in. The same thing, just think that same thing we are doing while we are doing manually. The same thing. Okay. Let's try the zoom out. Okay. okay. Let's go to the code. First I will explain the code, then I will run the code. Okay. So what I have did here, just think about how we are doing the zoom out. Okay. For zoom out, we are starting from here, finger number one and finger number two, we are starting from here, starting from the very close point from the edge of the phone actually. And we are moving our finger towards the center. Okay. Same thing. That's why I took for finger number one and two starting position towards uh, just close to the edge that's why i what i did that uh, for finger number one center x minus two into x movement means that x movement is third 300 just some from the point somewhere from here and for finger number two somewhere from here and i'm moving on this way so that's why for finger number one end and two end and ending on this place something uh, somewhere in this place and somewhere in this place okay i think you guys got it got the point so i am moving our finger number one will move in that way finger number two uh, will move in that way towards the center actually and other thing is exactly same i am not uh, explaining in this one it is the same just whatever we have did there same thing we are doing here okay so first let's try okay in that case let's try the whole class so first it will zoom in then it will zoom out okay You guys can see that in the log first it passed the thing and then I zoom out zoom in zoom out okay. step done okay done okay and I'm closing the IPM service okay so here okay this is yeah this is the thing so same thing you guys can see that okay let's try this one okay so it's starting from as i said already that start from 120 it's near close to edge in this case uh, 120 and it will end to 420 it will go in this way it will go to this way okay 420 from here sorry just like this okay and 
and for finger number two it will start from 1320 somewhere from here okay it will go towards this way okay and it will end with 100 uh, 1020 okay someone some place like here okay so i think you guys got the point how zoom in and zoom out works okay for using w3c action okay protocol okay so i'll share this code with you guys okay don't worry about this one and if you have any question any doubt just do a comment on this video i'll try to resolve the problem okay and thank you and please subscribe my channel for latest updates on the apm okay and on other tutorials also thank you